Hello designers, welcome back to another video on Figma plugins. So in today's video, we're going to look at some amazing Figma plugins that are going to help you improve your typography related work. So what are we waiting for? Without any further ado, let's get started. So first on the list is font preview. So basically when you want to change your font on Figma, you got to select the text and go to the right on this drop down. And here you find all the fonts that are there in your library. The problem with this is you don't remember each and every font, how they look, right? So it's really difficult to keep selecting each one and see how it looks. So to get rid of this issue, what we have is a plugin. So just go to your community tab and search for font preview. And in the plugin section, you'll find it on the first, right? So just install it. And now I'll get back to my file here. I'll just right click, go to plugins and select font preview. So here we have the plugin open and this basically gives you a preview of all the fonts, right? What you have on your library and you can quickly see how each of them look and you can directly just select it and it gets changed, right? So this is really helpful. And the best part is if you like a couple of fonts, you can basically add it to your favorites. So once I click on this, uh, it gets added to my favorite list and you can go to your favorite list and just choose which one you like. A similar plugin to this is Better Font Picker. So these are quite similar on how they behave. So here you have the Better Font Picker. So just install this one. And this is also works pretty much the same way. So if I select Better Font Picker, where is it? Yeah. So here you can see it shows you a preview of everything right away on the font name itself. And you just need to select it and it gets switched to that font, right? And now moving on to the next one, it is called as type scale. So if I search for type scales, so here you can see there are two plugins. You can use either of these. Both of them work pretty much the same way. So I've installed this one, the second one. So what you can do with this is just right click, go to the plugins and search for type scales. So as you can see, this is the plugin and all you got to do is set a base size for what you're using. So let's say it's 18 and then you want to select the type of scale that you want to use. So you can use the golden ratio, which is very popular or use the major third, whichever works for you, right? And then you can give it a line height. This is your base size and you want six scales above it and two scales below it, right? So if you can see here below 18, there are two scales below it and above 18, there'll be six scales, right? You can reduce it to four or whatever that you want, right? Whichever works for you. And if you want to round off the pixels, you can use these. So I would suggest using the round values. And once everything looks good, just click on generate. So here you have your new frame and it generates the complete styling on this itself. So this is really helpful. It creates a very harmonic uh, type scales. And once you're done with this, right, we'll use the next plugin, which is basically called as textile generator. So let's see if it's already installed. So I just go to textile generator. So once you search for it, it's there on the top, right? So just click on this and install it. And once you've installed it, just come back to your file and choose all these that are already generated by our previous plugin. And once I choose everything, I can just simply right click, go to plugins, go to my textile generator plugin that I've installed and just click on generate textiles, right? So before you click on this, make sure you have the proper naming. So I would suggest naming it properly like header one, header two and everything before you apply this. But for the demo sake, I'm just going to click it directly so I click on generate textiles and there you go all these are generated uh, on your textiles so if you can see here so all the styles are already generated right so if I want to change this to the h1 style I just need to click on it go here and select the type 44 and it gets changed so that is how you can quickly generate all your textiles once you are okay with all the scales that you have created so that was the textile generator now moving on to the next one which is font fascia and I'll see if it's installed. Okay, I'll just install it. And now I'll move on to my file. Okay, um, so I've just created some samples here. So what you can see is there are different types of fonts in this particular document, right? So once I go into plugins and I select this plugin called as Font Fascia. So here you can see a quick preview of all the fonts that are being used in this document, right? So in this particular document, there are six different fonts that are being used. So I can just select here and see where they are being used and the total count of it, right? So interregular is being used 16 times. I can just, you know, select and see where these are placed. So the use of this plugin is basically once you've created your complete uh, UI designs for a particular app, you can use this plugin to see if there is any inconsistencies in the document. So by mistake, if you are used a wrong font in the particular uh, document or if your style guide has only two fonts, you can use this plugin and see if there is any inconsistency or a wrong font is being used in your application. So definitely use this to make sure everything is consistent and you can see the different values also being used. So if some value is out of your style guide, you can quickly uh, note it down from here, right? 
So that being said, let's move on to the next one, which is basically your style swap. So this is your style swap plugin. So just install it. And as you can see, this basically helps you swap different styles, right? So let's go back to our document. So let's select this one right here. So this one is a type 35 style. So what I'll do is I will duplicate it a few times here just to show you an example. I'm going to press on command and slash or control and slash, which is a shortcut for searching on Figma. This is really helpful. Make sure you use it. And here I'm going to type style swap and then it shows me click on tab to use the next features. So I'll hit on tab and now you got to select your old style, right? So let's say type 35. I want to change all the type 35 to type 12. Okay. So I'll search type 12 and there you go. So the complete document, wherever there is style 35, it changes to style 12. And that is how you can swap different styles on your complete document without wasting time on each and every layer, right? So there you go. Those are the five plugins that I really find it helpful in Figma uh, to help you with your typography related work. So if I've missed some amazing plugin, do let me know in the comments below. I would really love to check it out and I would suggest them again on my next coming video on typography. And that being said, happy designing. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.